So, welcome. This is Papa Alpha 1 Foxtrot Oscar X-Ray. Uh, and you're now looking at the Icon IC730 HF transceiver. And what I'm uh, about to test is the accuracy of the receiving S meter. Um, what you see in front of the ICOM transceiver is a, uh, an oscillating device with an attenuator stage uh, behind it. You see uh, this is the on on off switch of the device of the oscillator and the upper bank these switches are all 20 dB attenuation. And this is 10, 6, 3, 2, and 1, which will be, give me a quite um, some possibilities of reaching the necessary attenuation for doing some measurements. Okay, well, what I'm uh, about to do is put on the receiver uh, on 35A2 and switch on the transmitter. You hear it. Not very loud, but you can hear it. With all attenuation on. And if I put some banks off, you see it will give full reading on the on the S meter. Okay. I'll uh, give you a closer look and see what's uh, happening when I switch uh, the switches. Okay, well to have an idea of what this, this device is, this oscillator and attenuator bank, I've opened the cabinet at the bottom and then you can here see uh, an 80 meter as well as a 2 meter oscillator, so it also works on uh, 144. And these are all the attenuating stages with um, resistor banks on them calculated to the corresponding dB levels of attenuation. And by uh, combining them you can make any attenuation you want as long as the signal is really getting through these stages and not passing by uh, outside. But at 80 meters that's not really a problem yet. Okay, well, now I have a close up of the S meter. Um, I will take the S9 level as a standard measuring point. S9 uh, is 9 sections of 6 dB S points, so it should be for, uh, 54 dB up from the lowest level, lowest reading. Um, each S point should officially be 6 dB. Um, from this level 9, we go downwards in stages and we go upwards in stages and see what happens. Well I will first uh, make 10 dB more attenuation so 10 dB less signal and see what happens. Well you can see the 10 dB less signal makes the S meter jump from 9 to well just over 5 and I will dump another 10 dB which will give you about just over 2 so from 2 to 9 which covers 7 S points 7 times 6 would be 42 dB it's only 20 dB so the, the S meter is a bit optimistic in this stage uh, uh, you will with uh, weaker signals you will have a quite positive readout. Okay, we'll go back to the S9 level, so 20 dB up again. Now we do another 10 dB up and see what happens. This is 10 dB more. Well, it's just below uh, S9 plus 20, so the 20 on the meter scale is actually just over 10 dBs. Then we go up again 
with 10 dB, which is this. So this, in fact, should be S9 plus 20. Well, it's, it's far more, it's about 30 on the meter. But it should be 20, according to the input signal. Now we go to S9 plus 30, which gives us already a signal over 40 dB on the meter, but in fact this is 30. And now we go to 40. This is S9 plus 40, what it should be. Well, it's just over 50. And now we go to S9 plus 50. It will give us, well, 9 plus 60 on the meter. On the meter. But there is more in the meter scale. S9 plus 50 should be it, and it's uh, S9 plus 60. And if we give it even more, you will see it will go further. So, what I plan to do, there might be an, a, a meter adjustment setting to make the full scale really S9 plus 60 and see if it compresses a bit. Um, concluding, you can say the dynamic range of the S meter of the ICOM IC730 isn't really 9 sections of 60dB plus 60dB over 9. It's less, but it's reasonable, it's not that bad. If I put the to total range of what we can see from here, this is 20dB less, this is 20dB less, this is 20dB less, and this is 20dB less, and we still got some reading. Well, this is 10 dB less. So, the total range from left to right of the S meter covers still some 90 dB in signal, which is not too bad. And which is, I think, much better than a lot of modern digital LCD readout S meters as you find them on the market. Okay, well, that concludes uh, so far the technical measurements on the S meter reading from an ICOM IC730. Bye bye.